Welcome to the homework for third grade module one, lesson 12. Write your name. Pause the video while you write it. One. Ten people wait in line for the roller coaster. They've already drawn the picture for us. Two people sit in each car. Circle to find the total number of cars needed. Gotta do this. 10 divided by 2 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 cars are 5 cars needed. Number 2. Mr. Ramirez divides 12 frogs equally into 6 groups for students to study. Draw frogs to find the number in each group. I'm going to draw frogs. I'm just going to make circles. Or even X's or boxes. But this have to be something that you can count to find the number in each group. Label known and unknown information on the tape diagram to help you solve. So I'll just do what it says to do first. I'm drawing the frogs. There's 12 frogs. And we need equal numbers in each of these six groups. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and I know to stop at 12 because that's how many frogs there are. Each one is a frog. Now, what we do know in the beginning is we don't, well, let's see, what we don't know is the number in each group. So this is question mark. This is the unknown. Frogs in each group. But we did know from the beginning that there were 12 frogs. And we knew that there were six groups. And so six times, now we can draw this as, write this as either missing factor, multiplication, or quotient for division. Missing factor is going to be six times two, because there are two in each group. And 12 divided by 6, 2, there are 2 frogs in each group. Number 3, match. So here we have some division problems. Expressions, I mean. And then these are the quotients. So 10 divided by 2, that's 5. How many 2's? There's 16, there's 8 twos, there's 16. You can think of these as missing factor problems also. And think of like this, this 18 divided by 2. Think 2 times what is 18? Sometimes it's easier to think of it that way, to solve it. It's like, you might know that. Or you could count by twos. You use your fingers to figure out how many twos you need to count to get to 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. That's 9 fingers. So it's 9. 14 divided by 2. You do the same thing. We're counting 2's here, so you can count by 2's to figure out all of these. 14 divided there. That takes 7 2's to make 14. Next page. Betsy pours 16 cups of water. 16 cups of water to equally fill 2 bottles. How many cups of water are in each bottle? And this is what we need to know. That's what we know. That's what we have to find out. And we have to label the tape diagram to represent the problem, including the unknown. So what do we know? We know that there's 16 cups in the whole thing. And we know that there are two bottles. A cup is a measurement for an amount of water. Uh, let's see. And then now we have what we didn't know um, was 
how many cups. Because right, each one of these sections here is a bottle. We don't know is how many cups are in there. Uh, and then so we can just write this out. It's 16. We knew the 16. We know the 2. So it's 16 divided by 2, and that will give us our quotient. Divided by 2 <laughs> equals our quotient. And you can count by 2s to figure it out. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16, that's 8, you know, count it, use a finger for every, if you have to do it that way, use your fingers. That's, that's going to be 8 twos. So there are 8 cups of water in each bottle. And if it helps to write it as a multiplication instead, you could think of it as 2 times something equals 16, and then that might help you figure it out. It might be easier. Uh, 5, an earthworm, tunnels two centimeters into the ground each day. The earthworm tunnels at about the same pace every day. So that's kind of like an equal group, same pace every day. Uh, how many days will it take the earthworm to tunnel 14 centimeters? Now we've got to draw the piece of tape. And in the beginning, we know the whole thing is 14 centimeters, right? and the abbreviation, I'll just write cm for centimeters, 14 cm. And we also know, what do we know? We know, we don't know how many days, how many days, but we do know that there are two cm's per day. So that's 2, there's 2 more, there's 2 more, how many is that so far? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And now we can see if each one of these boxes is a day. That's two centimeters a day. It takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. So we have 14 divided by two equals seven. We could have also written it as two times something equals 14. Right. And we now we have to write our own statement too. It takes seven days. Right, that was our unknown to the tunnel fourteen centimeters. And now we got our last one, number six. Sebastian and Tashan go to the movies. That's Sebastian, there's Tashan. The tickets cost $16 in total. The boys share the cost equally. How much does Tashan pay? So we, don't know what, we want to know what does one of the boys pay. So here, there's our tape diagram. Now we know that there are two boys. Right? And one of them is Sean, and one of them is, or it's, that's Sebastian, and that's to Sean. And we know that together it's 16 bucks. And we know that they are equal groups because they share the cost equally. We know that there's $16 from the whole piece of tape, and that there are two boys. And so we're going to put a dollar, I'm just going to make a tally mark for each dollar until we get what we don't know. Oops. Here's what we don't know. 
to Sean? Question mark. Dollars. One. There's sixteen dollars. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. <laughs> Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. To Sean. Paid. What did he pay? Five and three more. He paid eight dollars. Done. Well, almost done. Uh, there's the division equation too. So that was 16 divided by the two boys. $16 divided by the two boys equals $8 per boy. And now we're done.